guy with the purple windshield. The guy with the purple bike. The one thing I knew for a fact that I wanted on this bike was the purple. Some of you guys have been expecting a full review of Peanut's bike um, and he didn't want to kind of do this video until it was like almost basically done the way it is right now. So today we're going to be reviewing the bike, going to go over all the components, all the parts that it has on it. So if any of you guys want to make your bike just like Peanut's then... Well there is already somebody. I'm not going to say it over. There is an imposter. <laughs> You're out there, you know who it is. <laughs> uh, if you guys want to make your bike look just like Peanut's then go ahead. But a lot of cool parts. Um, this thing looks looks sick. It sounds sick. Without further ado, sir. Well, first of all, before we get into it, how, how happy are you now with the bike compared to before? I know, I know you were happy with it before. Yeah, yeah but... no, I'm, I'm I'm happy regardless. But it's I feel like now it's becoming what I envisioned from the beginning. Um, I always fell in love with the black chrome, especially when the CBO came out with it. Uh, I... Chrome team. <laughs> I saw Chromeworks had come out with um, a black chrome, but it was only two into one. Shout out to Chromeworks, man. It was only a two into one, and I wasn't going that route. I almost did because that's how much I liked the color. And, um, you know, I ended up not going that route at the time. And now that this is finally available, this exhaust has been on back order for, you know, Mike could even tell you, months. I think one day we were at the shop messing around and I'm, you know, going through the catalog and it just, one popped up and I was like, Mike, grab it, grab it, grab it now. And, uh, yeah. And this is a Basani Road Rage 3? 2 or? To be honest, if I, <laughs> it's a Road Rage, I don't know what number, I get confused with all them. I think it's a 3. Yeah, and, um, you know, I went with this exhaust because it has the equal length header. It kind of mimics the same body lines as the HPI, so... Everybody who knows me knows I love audio, and as much as I love my other exhaust, you know, having a short pipe, you have that drone yeah. in your ear constantly. So I wanted to get the sound behind me and, you know, make my, uh, my riding a little bit less easier on the ears. Oh, I'm happy you brought that up because a lot of people don't, don't take that into account when you're shopping for a pipe. It's a big difference when you're getting a short pipe and a long pipe, um, and I... I personally love the sound of a short pipe because it has a raspy sound. Yeah, yeah. Sounds really good. It's it's just it, it sounds awesome. But then again, it's like that sound is literally right next to you, and it's always there. And for someone like you who loves to listen to music and everything like that, you want to keep everything clean and listen to your music at the same time have a nice sound. Um, it, it's it's you're, you're better off probably going with the long pipe. Um, I mean, th this one looks 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 really good. Really good. Let's just, uh, let's get into all the details, man. All right, what do you want to start with first? You want to start with the, uh, talking about the powder coat wheels? I mean, you want to go over the whole bike? You yeah, go just, the, just, the, just the... No, no, the whole bike. Everything you've uh, done to it. All right, so... Uh, However you want, it's your bike. <laughs> the one thing I knew for a fact that I wanted on this bike was the purple. And, uh, you know, we all joke about it, but, you know, it's... Hence is why you're wearing a purple shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't planned, by the way. Um, I knew I wanted to do a purple combination, especially with the gray. Um, I think it looks great. So that was something I definitely knew I wanted, obviously the audio. Um, and then, you know, your typical T-bar setup. Um, so right now you have a thrashing setup. Yeah, I went with the thrashing setup, obviously with the carbon fiber back plate, gauge relocation. Um, you know, since I am doing a lot of carbon pieces on the bike, it was only right to go with the carbon back plate from Thrashing. Um, you know, great bar, great setup, great look. You know, with the triple tree, cleans up the whole area. A lot of people don't realize that when, you know, as well. When you do a, a T-bar setup on these bikes and you don't do the triple tree, it just becomes a bird's nest in there. It, it, and it, it just, looks horrible. It doesn't look right. So if you're going to do it, do it the right way, get the triple tree and uh, clean up those wires. How tall is this uh, riser? This complete setup, so 
that's confusing. So this is why I tell everybody when you get your bars, what's really important is to know what kind of seat you're gonna put on the bike. You know, every seat is different, whether you go with the Lapera, best seat on the market. Shout out to Lapera. Um, you know, or you use one of the other guys. Um, you know, every seating position is different. So for example, on mine, I know the Lapera, you know, tends to push you up a little bit and a little higher. So I knew I was gonna lose about an inch or so off the height of the bar. Mm. So I didn't realize how much of a difference it made. I originally went with a six inch riser. Mm -hmm. And then when I put them on, it was too low. Yeah. So I was like, okay, with the combination with the, also the triple tree lowers, lowers it a little bit and the seat brings you up. You have to compensate for that. So I ended up having to go with the nine, which thank you Mike for ordering it rush for me. And, and we swapped it out right away. So it's a nine inch, and then you got a what? Uh, a mid, mid bend bar, which I believe is a four inch bar with a four or five inch pullback. Okay. I'm not 100 percent sure to be honest. I, um, I have, have the I have the same uh, the same bar on on my Harlan S setup, and I, I love it. Mm -hmm. It's real comfortable. Um, so yeah, so more or less, it's about 13 inch total. But again, depending on the seat and if you go with the triple tree or not, it's definitely going to change. The height of your bar yeah. and how comfortable it is so I, I i do recommend even if you have a friend of yours that has this set up grab your seat throw your seat on the bike and sit on it and see if it's if it's the exact size that you want because that's the only way you're going to know so, so like you said some seats are going to push you forward some seats are gonna you're going to be more laid back um so it, it that does play a, a big part in it um so we got the thrashes set up uh, what grips are these uh these are the aluma cores uh the built wall aluma cores well. Okay. Which uh, I really like them. I, I was running the Vans, OD, Vans grips, but the difference with these is these have the aluminum sleeve inside. So uh, I feel like it takes a little bit more of the vibration off your hand since it's not directly on the bar. Nice. Uh, they feel great, they look great, and they're simple. And uh, it allows you to go even, you know, if you want to powder coat the ends, you know, you can customize them a little bit to your, to your own liking. You can get the grips in different colors. So, uh, they have various different colors. I don't know how many, but so, they're they're really nice, simple, and you have a nice grip on them. And I know we brought up Lopera already, so we got a Lopera seat. We got Lopera a tail whip, custom to your liking. So uh, huge shout out to Dante. Huge shout out to the whole Lopera team, man. The seat is coming back, by the way. You guys are. I know Dante had sent me, or actually when we saw him in Milwaukee, he had sent yeah. me some uh, some nice purple stitching that they have and uh, a couple of ideas to change the seat up a little bit. So you're gonna be upgrading it. Yeah, so as far as comfort, no complaints, amazing. It's just more uh, styling, which we were just talking about. Yeah. Which I'm not gonna say now, but it'll be done uh, over the winter. Yeah, yeah. Now you got um, you got the Santoro crash bars in the rear. Are you gonna be getting the front one? Or are you gonna be getting uh, Yeah, to be honest, I just haven't done them because I already have the front crash bar. I focused my money on areas of uh, things I don't have already. Yeah. So eventually I will be getting the uh, Santoro front um, to match the rear crash bars. Hopefully you don't have to wait two months like I've been waiting. I know, unfortunately that's the problem with some of these parts. You just don't know. You could get it in two weeks, you could get it in eight weeks, you could get it in three months. I had the same issue when with the exhaust, you know, it's been on back order for how many months? I yeah. got lucky to find this one. Um, you got a carbon fiber front fender. That's carbon visionary. Carbon visionary. They make a great fender. Thanks. That's uh, Max over there set me up with the front fender. Um, I am going to do the rear and the center dash. I guess I need a couple more dollars in the bank before <laughs> I do that. It does get expensive. Yeah. But uh, I'm planning on doing the rear, the center dash, and also um, the uh, FXR covers. style. Alter Evo covers. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, probably in the winter as well. I'm gonna try to finish off the rest of the project. You got flow footboards, uh, passenger packs as well. Um, they look sick. Um, yeah, they, they, these one looks really awesome. You changed out your air cleaner soon. Uh, I mean, recently. Which one was the one you had before? So I had the uh, the r fueling racing. I think it's called the BA series. Um, so, I mean, it's a great performing air cleaner, but since I do have the, you know, stock throttle body and intake manifold, it didn't really make a difference. Mm -hmm. um, and plus, this is a little slimmer. I did have an issue with my leg hitting the, yeah, the air was, cleaner. It was really bulky. Um, so, again, 
you know, my build is not completely based on just 100% performance or just aesthetics. It's, I want to have a little bit of both. So I decided to go with the, uh, the trash air cleaner. Um, it looks great, performs great, and um, I think it just blends in perfectly with what I'm doing with the bike. It looks real good. And then going, uh, going back to the pipe, you get the Bassani Road Rage, might be a two, I think it's a three. Uh, the black chrome looks sick. It looks really nice and it sounds really nice. We'll see, we'll give you guys a sound clip um, in a few. Um, but then we got the, the purple hints everywhere. You powder coated the wheels, powder coated some components on the bike as well. And then we got the Clockworks purple windshield, which you're like uh, famously known for now. Yeah, so I was really excited when uh, we went to Milwaukee and I got a chance to see it in person. So, uh, you know, first the color windshield, you're like, eh, it's not bad. And then when I saw it in person, I was like, wow, it, uh, it really adds another element to the bike. It's, you know, it makes it your own. People, the, anywhere I go, and even yesterday, we were at Indian Larry at the Black Party. And um, shout out to one of my subscribers. He was here from Indiana. And he was like, it, it, it's cool when I meet the subscribers and they ask me about the crew. So he was like, oh, well, where's so-and-so? Where's so-and-so? And he goes, oh, where, where, where's Peanut? I want to see his purple bike, you know, the guy with the purple windshield. And it's like, that's, that's what I get every time. It's like, the guy with the purple windshield, the guy with the purple bike. You know, so it's, it's, it's pretty cool. That's what, what, you're, uh, that's what you're known for now, man. The yeah, guy with the purple. and I told you when I went to, um, when I was in Tampa, and I did the tours of all the uh, dealerships, I ended yeah. up meeting somebody, one of the dealerships that recognized the bike from your channel. So I was like, it's like, wow. It's like people, <laughs> people really do remember and, uh, yeah. And get to know your your followers and your people on the, um, on the channel, so it's really dope. I mean, especially a bike like this, this definitely stands out. Um, suspension, you got Olin's in the back. Olin's in the back. Um, Olin's with the Carbon Visionary Shark uh, attachments. I also powder coated these in purple. I was kind of stuck between going with the carbon, but since I was going to paint it. I felt like I didn't need to spend the extra money. Yeah, it looks good like that. It looks good. So I wanted to make it clean. Um, what else? Yeah, the audio done. Uh, audio sounds sick. You know, audio, shout out to Carlito. Exclusive Designs. Um, set me up with uh, a really good sounding system. Yeah, it sounds really good. I mean, it, it, it's, it's crazy. Cause it's, it's, even competing with guys that have crazy amount of speakers all over the place and your, your bike is kind of like leveled with them and everything. So. So it's a really nice setup. Thank you guys. All right, let's talk about performance. Let's talk about uh, the motor work. So, what cam do you have? on your bike and what other future plans you have? So as of right now, I'm running the uh, 572 uh, Star Racing Cam. Uh, I was kind of stuck like everybody else is that you don't know, do you want horsepower, do you want torque, what do you want? But, uh, and honestly, I just, since uh, a lot of our friends were doing the 3030 Cam, which is also another- Which is a cam that you were gonna originally get. Originally gonna do, but I let a lot of people cut me in line and they ended up doing the 3030. And again, it's there's really no, there was no performance difference that I really cared for. It was just, you know, I just love Star Racing's products. And, um, you know, I ended up deciding to go with the 572 and I'm actually really happy that I went with it. It tends to give you a little bit more power on the higher end than the lower. I think the 3030 comes on more around 3000 RPMs. Where yeah. This one opens up more closer to 35, 38. Um, I, I have no complaints as far as the power band, the, the performance of the, how much it opened up the bike and it feels great. Um, you know, also some other components, you know, SNS pump and plate. Um, with this cam, since it is a higher lift, we had to do the uh, the valve springs, which George from Star Racing has the titanium valve springs, so I'm pretty safe on that aspect. Um, but yeah, that's what I have right now. Planning on doing a little bit more later, but I want to finish on the aesthetic since it's already started. And uh, after that, I'll, I'll start burying into the motor. There were, there were some stuff that I'm not gonna bring up now, but if you end up doing that, it'll be pretty sick. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough because you have so many ideas and you wanna finish your bike all at once and you start noticing that you're going to the motor and you're going to the bike and you're going to the motor yeah. and then it's like, 
what do you want to do next? And then everybody's like, oh, why don't you have this? Why don't you have that? It's like, and it's, then, not, it's not easy, you and, know what I mean? And then it's, you end up changing your mind and you go a different route, like I'm doing now. And I did, we all do it, you know, yeah. you put something on and then when you realize when you put something else on, it doesn't go with what you had and what you planned. So now you have to backtrack, spend more money, and, um, you know, and this is probably going to be my final product after I'm done anyway. You're always changing. Yeah, things. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be looking a bit different a year from now, a year yeah. and a half. Um, and we're, we're about the same height, so I just want to take a seat on it and show everybody how the bar setup looks with the thrashing riser here. We've, we've got one really cool, uh, cool component, man. What's that? The gas cap that gives you three horsepower. Oh. <laughs> this is gas cap, bro. It's, it's awesome. Uh, a company called Power Plant. Uh, I know there's a few companies out there that make it. Uh, it's a Chinese company. Um, I saw that one at Mike's shop. I actually took it from a, took it from one of his customers and I was like, yeah, order another one. I like it. Uh, <laughs> I did have the Harley one on there originally with a flat one, but it was just. I like this. I like the style. You, you gotta send me that link though, because I want I want the chrome one. Yeah, they make a couple of different colors: bronze, chrome, red. Sick. And then um, also you got the Baja set up in the front. Yep. Just forgetting about that. So that thing was sick. We actually did a video installing the, the Baja lights on this bike um, a while, a few months ago. Um, Good setup. You're gonna be adding more Baja lights to it. Uh, that's one of the things I'm going back and forth with. And again, I don't want to do something until. I have the other components done, like for example, I want to have the Santoro bars on it, and then I'll decide, uh, actually, I want to do the amp rack as well. That's another issue with these bikes. When they tell you if you do have audio and you have amps in the fairing, it is going to be a little pain getting the Bajas to line up and being able to adjust them properly. Yeah. Uh, as of now, I have mine slightly forward uh, since the amps are in there and it does interfere with the Baja lights, so just keep that into account if you're gonna do it and you want audio plan ahead uh, I know there's a company coming out hopefully in the next couple weeks that's gonna make an amp rack that will work with the Baja light so it'll eliminate that issue going forward mm -hmm. um, but yeah another thing you got was the uh, the the side chin spoiler because yeah. that actually doesn't come with it but you order it with your with your color which looks really nice yeah, I was always a fan of that too. I think it really cleans it looks, up the front. Yeah, it looks super cool. I like them either way. Um, I just think like this, it just it gives it more to look at. Um, they are a pain to put on and have to deal with with certain installs. You got to take them off, yeah. line them up properly. Um, but as far as looks wise, it's it's great. And the suspension in the front, down the line, obviously, I know we spoke about it. I mean, what I really want to do is the inverted front, like everybody else. Um, for the type of riding. It's a whole lot of money, man. Yeah. A whole lot of cash. Some people will say it's overkill. Some people will say, you know, I mean, I can say everything on the bike is overkill. Do you really need any of it? Eh, you really don't, but. but I, I definitely want to do at least a, a 30, a 30 mil uh, cartridge in the, uh, in the front, but we'll see. And obviously my next upgrade is going to be brakes. There's no point having all these power if you can't stop. Right. <laughs> so I, I have to address the brakes immediately and the uh, front suspension so awesome awesome build so far i think the bike looks amazing looks really good can you guys a sound clip real quick of what the the bike sounds like so if you want to do the honors everybody know what it is like what it sounds like Peanuts bike, guys. So if you want to go and copy him, then <laughs> by all means, get everything else on his bike. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. We are gonna be doing. Are we gonna do a ride yeah, video we'll portion, ride. right? Maybe it might be in this in this video. It might not. It might, it might be his whole video. We'll see right now. If not, thanks for watching.